welcome back everybody and in previous video we did some animations but uh, i have realized that uh, we are were using the action scripts and player controller script which are specific to that player so instead what we are going to do is instead of using the default controller and action script we are going to write everything from scratch so you can uh, import your own model and do the animations so let's start but uh, before starting so if on my camera skip you can see that i have uh, a boolean for enabling the mobile input so if we enable our mobile inputs we are going to use the touch field to rotate our camera but as you can see that the sensitivity is not right because uh, this is the sensitivity for our mouse so uh, for the mobile input we have to put 0.2 and now you can see it's more accurate so uh, let's uh, change that so i'm going to go back to my camera script and in here we are going to define the start function and in here we are going to check so if the mobile inputs are enabled which is this boolean if that's the case then we are going to update our sensitivity and set it to 0.2 f or you can uh, you know create another public uh, float for the mobile input sensitivity and place it right there but i'm going to do that now uh, let's uh, go back to our player script and in here we he previously wrote this code for our jump and run and stay animation so what I am going to do is I am going to uh, remove all of that and save the script so all the animations are now gone and now let's go back to our player so I told you in the previous video uh, that the animator on the player is going to be assigned at runtime so and because we are going to now create our own animator so we don't want it to be initialized at runtime so uh, let's uh, go to our player controller script and in here first of all uh, get rid of this line because we don't need it and in the set arsenal function you can see that here is uh, where we are setting our animator so for now we are going to comment it out now everything else is great and also if you can see that when if I play the game the player is not holding a gun so uh, to give the player a gun we can uh, make use of that set arsenal and you know that in the uh, arsenal we have two values two arsenals one of them is empty and the other one is rifle so we can uh, change that and set the arsenal to one which is our rifle now if i play the game you will notice that now our player is holding a gun so now let's go back to our player and see we don't have animator now so let's remove the action script also so i'm going to select it and remove the component and then i'm going to apply to prefab so if you don't have this option uh, this is because i am using the 2019.1 so if you are using the previous version just uh, click here and remove the component now save the script and make sure that we don't have any errors so let's play the game so now if i move you can see that we don't have any animations 
so let's uh, go back and uh, create some animations and so in the project folder in my character and in the controllers uh, we have some animators and we have created our animator for freehand controller so because we are going to use the gun so we don't need the freehand controller so i am going to create a new animator controller and i am going to call it and i am going to select the player and assign the my sniper rifle controller to our player now let's save that and play the game to see if it is right there so you can see that now we have our on controller so let's open this up in our animator so i'm going to double click on it and open it so we have our state so let's go back to our animations folder in our character and in here we are going to need the animations for our gun so the idle animation first of all so here is the idle uh, rifle and in if you expand that you will find the animation file so i'm going to drag and drop it right there so uh, from entry to our idle rifle now also we are going to need some parameters so in here we are going to create a bool and let's call it running and also we are going to need a trigger for our firing so we are going to say f i r e fire now also we need uh, animation for our run so we have a run rifle right there and i'm going to drag it and drop it right there so let's give us some space <clears throat> so we are going to transition from idle to run when we are running so make the transition from there to here and also we need animation for our fire so let's see where is our fire animation so here is our fire sniper rifle i'm going to expand it and in here we have two animations one of them is for aiming and the other one is fire so we are going to use the fire here and uh, drag it right there so we are going to transition from idle to a run when we are running so if the running is true in the conditions we are going to transition there and from a run to idle if we are not running so if the running is false now also we can shoot from both states from idle and from running so if we are idle we can shoot so let's make a transition from there and uh, in here we have to check if the fire if we are firing and from firing to back to idle if we are not running if the running is false so if we are not running we are going going back to our idle so if we are running then we are going to go from uh, from fire to run and also we can go from run to fire we can make the transition and we are going to do that if we are firing so <coughs> yeah, this is a very simple controller for now also we need to uh, check something else that uh, you can see that when we are going to uh, transition from idle to fire make sure that has exit time is disabled so in case if you don't know what has exit time is so if we check this and if we are in the idle then this is going to play the whole animation which is i think two to three seconds long and then 
it is going to transitions but we don't want it we want it to immediately transition whenever the fire trigger is true so that's why we are unchecking the has exit time and from fire to idle we want it to be checked so we want to play the whole animation of firing same case with here so if we are going to if we are firing then we make sure that has exit time is enabled and from run to fire make it uncheck now save that and let's uh, go back and let's play the game to see if our animations are working or not so now you can see it is playing now if we check the running so I think the has exit time is not checked so let's fix that so when we are idling we don't want it to be checked so immediately whenever the running is true immediately transition from idle to run play that and now you will see that it is going to immediately transition so if we uncheck it it is going back to idle now same with the fire so if we fire you can see that our trigger is working so if we are running and we are firing now it is going back to run so now that our animations are completed and uh, we are going to uh, start coding in the next video so that's it for this video and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask. Awesome.